Hello everyone and welcome to our poster Learning to Predict Cutting Angles from Histological Human Brain Sections. My name is Christian Schiffer, I'm a PhD student at the Institute of Neuroscience and Medicine at Research Center Jülich in Germany and this work was done in collaboration with Luisa Schumacher from Heinrich Heine University as well as Katrin Amunds and Timo Dickscheid from Research Center Jülich. If you want to learn more about the work of our group, use the QR code to visit our webpage. In this work, we tackle the problem of identifying obliquely cut regions in histological human brain sections. Cutting an adult human brain results in about 7000 coronal sections, which are then cell body stained and scanned using a light microscope at a resolution of 1 micrometer per pixel. Resulting images can be used to analyze the cellular architecture of the brain. Here, one important task is the analysis of cytoarchitecture, which relies on the visibility of cortical layers. However, Cortical layers cannot be recognized within the 2D image plane if the angle between the cutting plane and the brain surface normal is too oblique. Here, we aim to automatically identify such obliquely cut regions to exclude them from subsequent analysis tasks. For our approach, we train a convolutional neural network model to predict the cutting angle given a piece of tissue. To generate training data, we use the Big Brain, a high-resolution 3D model of the human brain reconstructed from over 7000 histological sections. The 3D context available for the Big Brain model enables us to compute the cutting angle for each voxel within the cortex. We then project these angles back onto the original unregistered histological sections and train a UNET model to regress the angles based on histological image data. For training, we sampled almost 400,000 image patches from 55 sections of the big brain. Performance was evaluated on 15 additional sections which were not seen during training. To promote transferability to new brains, we apply intensity transformations and geometric transformations. Qualitative results in the big brain show that the model successfully identifies obliquely cut regions. Results on a second unseen brain further indicate that the model transfers well to new brains. In conclusion, we have shown that a convolutional neural network can be used to correctly predict cutting angles based on histological image data. In future research, we will investigate the impact of excluding obliquely cut regions from downstream analysis tasks. Thank you very much for the interest in our poster and enjoy the rest of the conference.